Hi, Cheryl Locke here, and in this Paint.net tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add multiple pictures, angle them, put borders around specific pictures, and make it into one picture that you can share as sort of a collage. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. Okay, here we are in our Paint.net. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File and New. I already have pre-sized images that I have cropped, resized, and they're ready to go. Those images are 300 by 300. So I'm going to make my palette 600 by 600 because I want to put four images on. Here we go. We have a brand new clean palette. Don't worry about the color yet. First thing we're going to do is go up to Layers and I'm going to go Import from File. This is going to bring up the file where you have your images. I'll take image number one, bring it in. I can move it around. One thing you may want to do is check your blue lines on your ruler at the top and on the side to make sure you're putting it in the exact place you want. Once I've done that, I can deselect Layers, Import from File. We're going to put all four of these on somewhat quickly, hopefully. Click my deselect. And one more to go. And sometimes these are a little harder to line up than I like, so I'll show you a trick to do that. And our last image. We'll put our last flower on. Now it will usually go right in the spot. Now this works out great sometimes, but you may find that you have lines in between here. And if you can't see them, what I'm going to do is go on my layers, and I'm going to go to background and click so that it highlights blue. And what I'm going to do is take my paint bucket, and I'll pick a color that should stand out. And as you can see where I clicked on the background, I have not lined up my images perfectly because I have little red lines here. If that's not a big issue to you, then don't worry about it. Because what you can do is now that you have your image pretty much set, you can either dink around with them and get them lined up perfectly. Another little thing you can try is outlining each image individually and maybe that'll cover up the space. But if you want this transparent so that there's no lines showing. We're going to simply go to our background, make sure it is blue, and uncheck it. Now we have a transparent background. I'm still not really happy with this because they're not lined up great. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and close that out, not save. I'm going to go up to File and go New. Now I know what size my images are. So I'm going to go 300 by 600 for my new one. Now as you can see, I have one long stripe. I'm going to go up to Layers, Import from File. I'm going to grab my first one, bring it on, and slide it down. It's a little easier sometimes when you're only dealing with a small space so that you can get them lined up perfectly. I'm going to deselect. I'm going to Import from File, get my second one. And these usually tend to line up a lot better when you do it this way. Once I have this, I would simply then go Save As. I would title it. Put it in my favorite format, which is PNG. And Save. Click OK. And Flatten. Now I'm going to go back and do the exact same thing with a second set of flowers. We won't take time to do that right now, but then what I'll do, File, New. This time I'm going to do my 600 by 600, so I get all four images on. Now that I have my sheet, I'm going to go Layers, Import from File. I'm going to pick this double one that was easier for me to line up. I'm going to bring it on, and we're going to use our imagination here and I've got that lined up. Now if I had another set of two flowers, I would go Layers, 
Import from File, and pick the next set that I made like I did the first ones. And usually putting them together like this is a little bit easier than doing four separate images. If it's the way you want it, want a transparent, click that background off. And I didn't take the time to line these up real well. I'm sure you'll take a little more time doing that. So this is how you can put multiple images into one. You'd simply click, save as, rename it, and if you're using transparent, you want PNG and save. Click OK and flatten. Okay, now that we have these two done, I want to show you how to put multiple images and angle them. I also have images preset for that. So what I'm going to do here is make me a 600 by 600 blank sheet. And this time I'm going to go layers import from file. I have some smaller images of my little chipmunk. I'm going to bring him in and I'm going to start down here. Now I don't want this just square images. So what I'm going to do is with this first one I'm going to make sure that its layer is highlighted blue. Go up and click the red X deselect. Now I go to layers and this time we're going to go down to rotate zoom. It's going to bring a pop-up, and what I have here is I can start rotating my image as much as I want. So if I rotate him this way, and then to put him in the area of the picture you want, you simply drag out of the box. And this takes a little bit of getting used to. You also have some fine-tuning tools. So now we have an image that is angled. Click OK. If I bring in another one, I'll bring in him, click open. I can bring him down and I'm going to do the same thing. Make sure his area on layers is blue, which it should be. Click deselect, layers, rotate zoom. This time I'm going to rotate him this way. Oops, we'll go a little bit more so you can see him. And then drag him over. Click OK. I'll put one more on so that we can see how I'm going to do. And this one. And that's going to be our image. Now, if you want it like this and you want the background to be a color so that it's not white, and you've got space and you know it, go down, click on your layers, background, make sure it's blue. Go to your paint bucket. You can pick any color you'd like out of your color chart and simply click it. Don't like it? Well, you're still highlighted blue on layers. Change it to any color you want. If you find you want it transparent, we're simply going to uncheck the background. These gray and white dots are transparent. For this, let's put back the pink just so we can see what I'm going to do next. Now, I want these images to have borders around them, but I didn't put borders on them before I started. So what I'm going to do is the first image, I'm going to click and make sure it's blue. And it's highlighted blue in your layers. Go up to Effects, go down to Object. From Object, Object Outline. Here we are going to outline the image. It of course has the pink from our original, but we can change that right here. Let's go with a bright yellow. Now as you can see, I've got a border just around this image because in layers, that is the only layer I'm working with. I'm not working with any other. So you can take this from there, click, make it as big as you want. You have a few other ideas you can work with here to get exactly what you want, and we have a whole tutorial on borders. Once you have it, click OK. Now, if I want to make this image with a border, click that layer, go up to Effects, Object, Outline Object, and I'll move it to the side. And I don't want it yellow. That's OK. I'm only working with one layer here, so I can click it and make this one any color I want. 
change the size of the border if I'd like. Maybe it needs a thick border. Click OK. If I did the third one, simply go up, do the same exact actions. Once you have it exactly like you want, you go File, Save As, and of course, you would title it, save it in PNG, click OK, Flatten. And I could put this anywhere. You can also add text to it if that's what you want to do. And I'll have another tutorial about that. We also have one already made on circle text. So this is how you're going to make images from multiple images into one image. We hope this has helped so you can get some cool pictures out to share on your social networks and your blogs. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to Hot Blog Tips here on YouTube for more tips.